Hi guys, it's me, Sharon, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I say welcome, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. And if you're returning, I say welcome back. Today on Creative Glam, we're going to do a fall home decor haul. Or I should say, a fall pumpkin home decor haul. Pumpkins, pumpkins everywhere. Hello fall. Let's get started. I know it's a little early, being that it's pre-fall, but you know how the stores change out their seasonal items early so that we at home will have time to prepare our homes accordingly. Most of my stores are now getting rid of the back to school items and are stocking up on the fall items. Hence, the fall home decor haul we're gonna do today. My haul is from the usual suspects, Joanne Fabrics, Michaels, and the Dollar Tree. I also ordered some fall candles from Bath and Body Works, but those haven't arrived yet. I thought they would be here by now, but they haven't arrived yet. Uh, when they do, I'll include that in at a later date. Now let's get started. The pumpkins, the pumpkins from Dollar Tree. Everybody's talking about the pumpkins at Dollar, the Dollar Tree. And you kind of have to go early to get these things because they go fast. These items won't be there for long. At least not in, not in my dollar store, they don't. They, not in my dollar store, they don't. They go quickly. So these kind of items, um, they just don't last. So when I had the opportunity to get them, I got them. It's a little early, but that's okay. Some of these items, I will be changing the colors, the glitter ones. They have some that are in the um, the rust colored, and then they have some in the gold colored. I did not have silver. I don't know if they have silver. I just would assume that they do because, I don't know, it just seems like they would also have silver, but in my Dollar Tree, they did not have them. They only had these two colors. I picked up quite a few pumpkins, so I'm sure some of them I will be changing the colors as I begin to decorate and put my projects together. As I upload my DIYs, I'm sure some of them I'll be changing the colors but for right now, the gold and the um, copper is what they had. And I got, I got a bag of those. <laughs> I have a bag of them. I also got from, these came from Michaels. I got some stickers from Michaels. These, these are gonna be used on a project that I have coming up. So make sure you come back next week uh, make sure you come back and you will see these in a project that I have coming up. Uh, what else? I got some more pumpkins. These were from the Dollar Tree. Some of these are pumpkins and some were gourds. All of these here are the, the glitter ones are styrofoam. These seem to be a tad hollow, but you can still put these on picks and um, decorate with them quite well. I also got the gourds, the squash. So I got those. And these are in the traditional colors, but again, the great things about these dollar store pumpkins is, and, and gourds or squash, um, is that you can paint them whatever color you want, whatever your decor is. Some like the traditional colors, some like the not so traditional colors, um, some like the traditional, and then some like glam. So it just all depends on what, you know, you're looking for. I also picked up a couple of these corns. Um, I'm sure I'll use them, you know, because the table is going to be kind of farmy. You know, everybody's doing the farmhouse rustic glam. So you get a little of the glitter and you get a little bit of the traditional. And again, these can be painted and changed to, to match whatever your home decor is. Love that Dollar Tree and all their, their uh, fall harvesty items. You can use them as they are or you can paint them to match your decor. Loving it. Oh, this is another one. That's another gourd. Two different colors. We got these from Michaels. This is going to be a part of a, um, an upcoming project as well that you need to stay tuned for. I'm going to use this. You know, I love doing wreaths and I try to do unique type wreaths. So this is what, um, this is going to be used as a part of the wreath. So stay tuned for that. Oh, these are the glass pumpkins that I had gotten from um, Dollar Tree. I don't know which ones are in here, but these were so pretty. The ceramic, these are the ceramic ones, hence being wrapped in the paper. I thought these white ones were so pretty. My creative juices got to flowing because 
I, I thought that's so cute, the little detail there, and then the little brown on the top. I like these. I like the ceramic ones, and I probably won't end up painting ceramic ones because I ended up, I got exactly the ones that I wanted. I didn't wait till late in the season and end up with just what was left over. But I think these are so cute. You have got to love these things, and they're only a dollar. They are easy enough to paint, but I like this one. I'm pretty certain that one won't be painted. I got quite a few of them. Like I said, I went pumpkin happy. And that's another white one. These are going to be used on my tablescape. And then here's another one. That is so cute. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And I like the way the little stem here lays down. That is just so cute. Cute, 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 cute. Anyway, I got I don't need to show all of them to you because you get a gist of what they are. Um <laughs> everybody's got them. Everybody's talking about them. And I didn't get as much fall decor as I would have liked to have gotten last year. So this will be my first run. I'm sure I'll make a couple more runs, but this will get me started with um the upcoming projects that I have. Um the florals, the flowers from Dollar Tree. I thought they're 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 um the flowers at Dollar Tree were really cute. They had some really nice things, like these um, these grass, this, the mini grass colored. They had quite a few of these in different colors, and um, you'll see some of these in my centerpieces and wreaths and things like that that you'll see me doing for the fall. I thought those were really pretty. And then the burlap, um, the burlap flowers. Those are cute. Have a wonderful idea for these. And those burlap flowers came in a, in a uh, in multiple colors. I like the traditional colors, but I like to offset them with pops of my own, um, with pops of, of other colors, the non-traditional colors. You know, set it off with, with a little glam, with a little bling, with a little uh, jewel tones. That always makes it better. I like that. Got some styrofoam as well. Got a little <laughs> a little scarecrow. I thought that would be so cute. Hanging over the side of a um tablescape. I thought that was cute. And the burlap leaves. These are a mixture. They're a mixture of the um the maple leaves. They're a mixture of the, the burlap and then the traditional, the traditional leaves. I thought that was really cute. You know what I don't like? I don't like when they take and put my flowers in the bags and they put them in flower first because the flowers get all smushed. By the time I use them, I'm not going to be using them, you know. By the time I use them, then the flowers are all smushed. Lanterns. And I don't like that. I got some lanterns from, um, where did these come from? <laughs> I got some lanterns from Michaels. I got three of them, actually. Um, these are going to be used in an upcoming project. I thought they were really cool. They light up. Um, you have to put batteries in them, though. Um, they light up. I thought they were really cute. I can use these. Um, on my table these were they're gonna be really pretty in an upcoming project they were $30 each and I got three of them um, they're, they're all slightly different this one has acorns and um, the um, I don't know what you call it I want to say candied but it's not candied it's you know the I don't know what you call it like sugared like a sugared pumpkin <laughs> Never heard of a sugar pumpkin, but okay. Uh, sugar pumpkins with pine cones and uh, acorns and um, a flower in the bottom. That's and those came from Michaels, if I didn't say. Those are from Michaels. Got some more pumpkins. Went over to Michaels, and Michaels had some pumpkins, um, the which I couldn't resist. These were these were on sale. I got these on sale, and I believe they were. This one was eight dollars and this one was six dollars that I got and I got these mainly because 
one of the downsides of the pumpkins from the Dollar Tree is that they're all basically the same size. So when you're decorating and you need to stack them up and you're, you're doing a centerpiece or a tablescape or an islandscape, you need variation. You need variation of heights. And um, granted, you can put things on lifts to raise them up. You still sometimes, in order to, to make the tablescape as interesting as you like, you need different sizes. You need varying sizes. And I thought this was perfect for um, a tablescape that I have coming up. So stay tuned again for that project as well. Pumpkins, pumpkins everywhere. <laughs> and I got this. I got this from Joanne Fabrics. I don't know if you can see that or not. It says, together is our favorite place to be. And that's that um, farmhouse rustic look to it. I'm gonna be using this in a project. Um, when I initially use it, I probably will not be using this side. Eventually I will, I can see myself using this side eventually this was um originally fifty dollars at joanne fabrics um but i caught it on sale and i think i got it for thirty dollars um and it says together is our favorite place to be you'll see this being used in an upcoming project as well i thought it was cute you know everyone's doing the farmhouse everybody's doing the farmhouse rustic glam kind of look so I have a project for this in mind. Stay tuned for that as well. I, I'm excited. I'm excited for fall. I do enjoy fall quite a bit. I am a spring girl. I like fall, but it is not my most favorite time of the year. Spring is my most favorite time of the year, but fall is a close second. I enjoy changing the house and transforming it over and transforming my wardrobe and changing the way I clothe. I love wearing boots. I love the decor of the, the fall harvest things so I do I enjoy fall quite a bit but I'm still a spring girl um, also I got a candle my favorite as usual um, got this from Target um, this is my cashmere plum my one of my my office signature scent as you can always tell it's always burning here in my office um, cashmere plum that's my signature office scent um, again I ordered some candles from Bath and Body Work but they haven't come in yet Marshmallow, Fireside, Sweater Weather, of course, because those are my favorite fall colors. Fall colors. Those are my favorite fall. Those are my favorite fall candles. Uh, pecan Waffle. What is it? Butter Pecan Waffles. Waffles. But you know what I'm talking about. That's the one I burn in my kitchen all the time. Okay, guys. So that's it. This is my first fall haul for 2017. Uh, stay tuned because there's many more to come. I'm excited about my up and coming fall projects. So you guys make sure you stay tuned. I want to thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit your notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. I upload new videos every week. So make sure you come back. And on that note, Thanks for watching, have a blessed day, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Pumpkins, pumpkins, everywhere. Pumpkins, pumpkins, everywhere. Yes, Maya. What am I supposed to say? What should I say? I was being sarcastic. I couldn't tell. She's back from China and she knows everything. Yes, I'm recording. She knows everything. I forgot. Fall, fall is in the air. Except in the northeast except on the northeast coast. It's only in the store. Hello, fall. Hello, fall. Hello, fall. How have you been? Hi, fall. Hello, fall. Fall, fall. Hello, fall. Where have you been? I missed you.